Hello, welcome back to Aten Learning. Today we're going over the basics of a computer mouse. We'll be going over the left click, the right click, and the scroll wheel. We will also cover single clicking, double clicking, dragging and dropping, selecting, highlighting, and scrolling. Let's begin by explaining the differences between the left click button and the right click button. The left click button is the button that you will primarily use to navigate your computer. The left click button can be used for selecting items or for simply navigating different files, folders, or locations on the PC. The best way to describe it is the left click mouse button executes actions on the PC. The left click button has a few different gestures you can use. You can single click, double click, you can click and hold, and you can also click and hold and drag. Now the right click button is different than the left click button. The right click button displays a menu of options for the object you have selected. When just navigating the PC, the right click button is not used as much as the left click button. Let's go over the left click button in more detail. As you can see here, I have three folders in one file on my desktop. I'm going to click on each folder and file one at a time. The thing you'll notice is that each time I click, nothing happens except the file or folder is highlighted. By single clicking on each folder or file, you are selecting which file you would like to work with. To deselect a file, simply click anywhere on an open space on the screen and the file will deselect. Now let's say you want to open a file or folder. To open a file or folder, simply locate the file or folder and double click on it with the left mouse click. To close the file, Simply use a single left click in the top right corner where the X is. You can also double click on folders to open them up and view the contents. Now all of this can take some getting used to. If you're not used to it, don't feel bad about practicing. Click around on some things on the desktop, open up some files, and you'll get the hang of it soon enough. I'm going to click around just a little bit more so you can see how my mouse reacts when I'm clicking on different things. The left mouse click button also allows you to navigate your start menu, different links and icons inside of applications, web browser windows, settings windows, and pretty much anywhere you want on the actual operating system itself. Now we're going to be going over the click, hold, and drag option. This will allow you to select text on the screen, move objects, files, or folders, and select multiple objects, files, and folders. So let's say I wanted to move this file. To move this file, click on the file with a left mouse click and hold, drag the file to a different location, and then release the left mouse button. So now you know how to drag and drop a file. Now I'm going to show you how to drag and drop multiple files and move them in and out of folders. So let's start by opening up the pictures folder. I'm going to double click on it with the left mouse click and you see I've got four files in here. I want to move these to the desktop. I can move all four files by simply left clicking anywhere in the white open space, continue to hold the left click and drag your mouse over the four files you would like to move. 
When you have the files highlighted, simply release the left click button to save your selection. Windows will now show you that you have the four files selected. This is shown by the blue shading box around each file. To move these files to your desktop, simply click on one of the files, hold, drag, and release. You'll notice that your folder is now showing as empty, but don't panic. I moved the files to the desktop, so if we close the folder, you'll see the four files that we moved are now on the desktop. These files can also be moved and arranged the same way. Simply click, hold, drag, and release. You can also select multiple files from the desktop as well and drag them back into the folder that they came from. Now that covers dragging and dropping. You can also use the click and hold technique to select text inside of documents, websites, or any other application that allows you to select text. To select text, simply click with the left click, hold and drag either to the right, to the left, or up or down, and you'll notice that the text will be selected on the screen. Once you release your mouse, whatever text was selected will stay on the screen. To deselect all text, click anywhere off the text itself. Now that you've got the left click button under control, let's move over to the right click button. Now remember, the right click button displays a menu of options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this text file here to see what options we have. As you can see, right clicking on the file has brought up a menu. Now this menu can change depending on which file, folder, or object you are clicking on. Here it gives me options for the file. As you can also see, there are little arrows next to some menu items. These arrows can be expanded out to give you even more options. To expand the arrows, simply highlight over the menu option and it will give you more options as well. Now I want to rename this file, so how would I do that? Well. I would find the menu item rename and instead of using the right click this time we're going to use a single left click to select the menu item. You'll see that now I can rename my file. You'll notice by right clicking on different items different menu options will appear. Let's right click on the desktop to show you what I'm talking about. Now you'll notice that the menu looks a little different. This is because when clicking on different types of items, the menu options can change. So let's say I want to make my icons on the desktop larger. What I would do is right click on the desktop, go to view, and choose large icons. And then you'll use a single left click to select the item. You'll see now that the icons are larger. To switch them back, simply right click on the desktop again, go to view, and switch back to medium icons by left clicking on the item. Now you can right click on almost anything. You can right click on files, folders, the desktop, links, and other objects within the operating system. Remember by right clicking each menu item will be different. As you can see here when I clicked on a folder these are the menu items that I get. Now if I right click on a file the menu items change. This is dependent on the type of folder or file or object you are clicking on. Same thing as if I click on the desktop. Okay, we're going to recap everything we just went over. I'm going to click around a little bit and you can see how my mouse reacts to the different actions that I'm doing.
So now that you know how to use the left click, the right click, single clicks, double clicks, dragging and dropping, we're going to go over the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel gives you the ability to scroll either up and down or left and right in web browsers, text files, documents, or anywhere else in the system that allows you to scroll. Now I'm going to demonstrate this using a web browser. So while I'm in the web browser, normally you could scroll using the scroll bar on the right side of the screen. You can click the down arrow to scroll down through the page. You can click the up arrow to scroll up through the page. You can also drag the gray bar up and down, along with clicking in the open space next to the gray bar as well. This works great, but there's an easier way to do this with the scroll wheel on the mouse. To use the scroll wheel on the mouse, make sure the window you'd like to scroll in is selected by left clicking on the page. Once you've left clicked, you can use the scroll wheel to scroll down or up on the page. Okay, well that does it for this video. This is Alex. Thank you for joining me and make sure you check out our other videos at www.atin.tech. That's www.atin.tech. And welcome to the Eaton family.